Hello, hello, Alien here. Want to get through whatever is blocking you from progressing? Want to know why this burst is incredibly bad? Want to learn what a high-ranked player knows? So strap around as we go from zero to hero. There is this mindset that is seemingly very common across games. This, I am a casual, I don't care about being competitive, so me being bad is perfectly okay, which honestly is bullshit. We all know it's bullshit. <laughs> The reality is, is that being casual and being good at the game are not mutually exclusive. Even casual players want to have an easier time achieving their objectives, rather than doing it the hard way. And, you know, many gamers that sink, you know, time, resources into a game they enjoy, no matter the genre, generally speaking, get some form of gratification from doing good at it, one way or another. Also, even if you don't care about being that good at it, making it easier for yourself will, generally speaking, improve the quality of your experience with the game. I know this very well because I get account reviews uh, requests that span across hardcore all the way to casuals and waifu enjoyers on my stream. Check out twitch.tv aliena underscore ak if you want to redeem an account review or just watch me live. So, these guides are meant to give information starting from the absolute basics all the way to top end player knowledge. So you'll be able to understand how the game works to the level that you want to understand it. You can watch the video all the way to the point where, okay, this is all the things that I wanted to learn, that's good enough for me. If you were in theory to follow absolutely everything in these series guides, you could go from absolute beginner all the way to top-end player games of knowledge, and then you can try to apply it to make your gameplay even better. So, as stated, we will start with some of the most absolute of fundamentals, and that is game settings. These may sound incredibly silly, but there are quite a few details that I've seen even veteran players that have been playing the game for a full year plus mess or don't know about when it comes to something as seemingly simple and basic as settings. So, settings. FPS is the most important thing that you should look at. If your frame rate is capped at 30, immediately change it to 60. FPS is incredibly important because it affects the fire rate of your Nikis. I will have way more details about this in a future video about weapons, fire rates, and how they're affected by different levels of frame rates. But what you need to know is the frame rate will affect how quickly your weapon shoots. Frame rate also leads to one advanced trick that not a lot of people know about, is the fact that frame rate will also change projectile speed. So if you cap your frame rate at 30, you will reduce the missile speed of certain enemies, meaning that they will be either easier to shoot down, for example in Chatterbox, I don't have footage here for that, but um, keep that in mind, or when it comes to iframing the missiles on train. Screen shake is another very important setting that you need to turn off. I have an example here that is a little bit of a caricature, but that will give you an idea as to why it makes it very uncomfortable for very delicate aiming situations to have a screen shaking on. An additional very important setting that messed with people for the longest time until they added it was attention when target appears. What this setting does when it's turned on, it will make the entire screen zoom onto the Rapture boss when it enters the battlefield, absolutely messing with all aim that you were doing at the time. It has made me miss more Snow White shots that I'm willing to admit, and it is a setting that you want to have switched off. Skill cutscenes, it's up to preference, but generally speaking, if you want to perform well, you want to turn them off. If you really like watching your skill cutscenes, I recommend setting it to once per day so that you watch your skill cutscene of the day and then afterwards you start clearing properly. Because screen cutscenes will break the flow of the fight very frequently. It will delay whatever you're aiming at, it will delay whatever you're bursting in terms of speed. It will, generally speaking, affect how you're going to perform on a very difficult fight. Aim Assist is one of those where you want to switch it on and off, depending on the scenario. Aim Assist is incredibly, incredibly helpful. You can have very far raptures that you want to strike the core, 
and you want to strike that one rupture in the core or make it easier to track with MGs to hit the core or a specific part, you switch it on. What you can also do while using this setting is turn off cursor sync. This is a tip that Tay gave me. He's a top solo raid ranker, one of the top in the world. And this is what he did for Nihilister on his Snow White comps. By turning off cursor sync, it made it also easier with the very heavy aim assist settings to hit some of the hits that he was doing on Snow White teams and some other teams as well. However, if you're using something like a Snow White and there are a lot of targets on the field and you wanna quickly snap to something, you might wanna switch it off because it could latch on random things. Or if you're trying to aim to very precise multi-hitting spots on snow, you also wanna switch it off. Otherwise, the aim assist will latch onto something like a part and will screw with your aim. There are some setting tricks as well that you need to keep in mind. The aspect ratio of the screen changes how certain things happen. So for example, if you're struggling with train, you can change your aspect ratio to 21.9 or um, to horizontal on phone to be able to see a wider part of the train. You will be able to see the far right parts of the train far sooner, allowing you to deal with some of the most dangerous parts of train sooner. This aspect ratio trick extends to things as well, such as Mog, Memory of Goddess, and other game modes where you can have things bounce on the screen or where you want to have a better field of view uh, rather than a narrow one. This will be it, however, for the settings video. I hope this will be helpful. The next video, we will talk about team compositions, Nikes to aim for rerolling, and weapon types as well. Catch you on the next one. Alienate out.